Yo, har mateys. Welcome to the seeds. This is Damron. In this video, we're covering the second part of the Pirate's Life Tall Tales, The Sunken Pearl. And in this video, we're going to be covering this particular tall tale in its entirety. We're going to get all of the commendations, as always, and trying to show you the most efficient way to get it done, as well as some tips here and there. As the second and all of these tall tales go, you can find these at any outpost at our new castaway who is on the beach again at any outpost and now you're going to want to select the second book the sunken pearl and she's going to tell you a little bit but nonetheless you're eventually going to get the tall tale book which as you can see is going to lead you to the southwest portion of the sea of thieves west of discovery ridge and old salts atoll and if you look at your map you can see that's all the way in the southwest portion of the sea of thieves but you don't really need to know that because another thing they did when you activated this quest is actually if you look in the distance of the horizon, you'll see this nice blue indication beacon of where you need to go, similar to a reaper's chest, except that it's blue. So let's go ahead and sail there. And when you get there, you're going to notice some ship debris and, you know, coral elements on the surface of the water where the blue light is. And if you go down beneath that, you're going to follow a trail of debris deep into the ocean. And this it's a very long swim, but I do want to point out a few things. One is getting air. You're going to come across a lot of things in this tall tale because we're going to be underwater a lot where you need to get oxygen so you don't drown. And you're looking for anything that's producing those bubbles. So you can see that similar on the bottom of the seafloor. Here are some structures that are emitting bubbles that I can breathe air and now I don't have to worry about drowning. So this is quite a long swim, but eventually you're going to come across the sunken pearl and all its glory this beautiful coral around it this is really vibrant and beautiful to experience uh, in 4k on a big TV so uh, go ahead and go to the top of that ship and if you go near the front you're gonna be able to get down below into the ship's hull go around that staircase and move this debris out of the way it will swim a little bit further ahead you're gonna move this plank of wood and that's gonna allow this cannon to get out of the way so we can swim under this and we're gonna find an ocean crawler in the the middle of the floor here I'm not sure if he's dead or sleeping I guess when they die they disappear right so it's got to be asleep I don't know anyway he's gonna have a key that we need we're gonna go ahead and grab that key head back up to the surface of this ship and now go towards the captain's quarters and now we can unlock this door to get in and on the captain's table is gonna be Jack's compass So now that we've obtained Jack's compass, just like the movie, it's always going to point where you want to go. And we're going to have this in a couple of the tall tales, but essentially that black arrow is going to indicate where you need to go next. And that is essentially telling you how to progress the tall tale. But nonetheless, now that we have this, if we go the way that it tells us to go, it leads us to this large underwater cavern entrance. And if you progress through that just shortly, eventually you're going to come to this barrier. And just to show you, we're going to have a lot of these in this particular tall tale, just to the right of that is going to be this pulsating coral that you can shoot stab whatever you want to do it but as long as you hit it now you'll be able to advance through that barrier so advancing through now we're going to climb up this ladder and we're going to enter the bottom layer of the spire and we're going to be doing a lot of challenges and puzzles in the spire but the first thing you want to do when you enter this bottom layer is head straight across to the other side and on the opposite side you're going to see this large door with this kind of plank of wood on the northern side that's going to be our first journal a run of good luck all right so once you've grabbed that journal now the mysterious voice is going to summon some of her beings to fight you you're going to be attacked by some of the new ocean crawler type enemies and you know they're not too bad again you have the kind of lightning one the poison in one and the bigger guy that basically slams down and can do a lot of damage to you but i do want to point out that these barrels that are down here and throughout this tall tale have a lot of good fruit in it so be sure that you pick up the good fruit Nonetheless, when you finish that battle and you, you take out the final ocean crawler, it will drop a siren heart. And now you're going to be able to put that in the siren statue that is missing its heart. 
in the bottom layer of this spire, which is always the same. I haven't seen any variability to this. It's always the one that's holding coral right here. Uh, again, I haven't seen any variability, so it's always that one just to the right of this mural. And we're gonna see a lot of these throughout this tall tale, so let's go over it, and let's look at the position of the arm of the sires that are holding the trident. Some people have said, look at the trident, it's up, medium, and low, but I think that's kind of ridiculous because it doesn't really correspond to the way it looks on the statues. It's better to look at the arm. See, the arm is down, and here the arm is horizontal, aka in the middle, and here the arm is up. Look at the arm. That's going to be easier for you, trust me. And then one of them has a stone, one has coral, so there's the stone, the arm is down, the coral, the arm is middle, and the chain, the arm is up. So the final one is the one holding the conch, and that's basically the one you hit after you've solved the puzzle. So let's put all this together, and now we're going to make the uh, siren statues look like the mural okay so we're going to go over here this is the one holding the coral and again look at the arm okay it's in the middle position so i'm going to show you how this works by stabbing it shooting it whatever you want you move the arm so that's up right so we're going to put that in the middle as is on the picture coral the arm is horizontal to the middle now if we look at the statue with the chain his arm is already up so we don't need to move that head to the other side and this is the one with the stone or the mineral and we need to move his arm all the way low again look at the arms don't worry about the tridents once you've done that then you can hit the middle statue with the conch and if you've done it correctly you'll hear some music and the water will begin to rise to take us to the second level of the spire So once you finally get risen all the way to the second level of the spire, you're going to see another set of the you know mural up there. And this one, all of the sirens have their arms in the up position. So you basically just need to swim down. Again, our chain was already up. We're going to change our coral to the up position now. So we'll hit that twice, and then we'll go over to our stone or our mineral, and we'll put that into the up position as well. And once we've done that, we'll hit the center siren that has the conch again and it's now going to activate a geyser that's actually in front of the mural so if we swim back up and look where those you know the picture of all those sirens are you're gonna see this pile of rubble right in front of them and now you can actually stand on that and it's a geyser that's gonna shoot us up to the third floor and we're gonna see another set of images however we're not going to be able to deal with that yet because we are going to be attacked by a few waves of ocean crawlers and just like the previous set of ocean crawlers one of them is going to drop a sire heart so we weren't able to advance this because one of the statues was missing its siren heart which is again this one to the east holding the coral so you can't move their arms until you've actually solved that so in this one with the coral the arm is down the chain the arm is horizontal and the stone or the mineral the arm is high so we need to go over here to our coral statue and just sword that a couple times until the arm is down head over to to the chain statue which has the arm in the middle position which is already there so we don't need to do that and then the one that you can't see you actually need to walk back here where this ammo crate is and look across the gap in order to see the mineral siren and hit it one time to put its arm in the upper position once you've done that now we can shoot the statue that has the conch and we are ready for the water to be risen again All right, so once the water has risen to the top floor now, you're gonna see this crack and spine that you're supposed to take to progress onto the tall tail. But before we do that, turn around while the water is at the highest level and head to the eastern side of this. And right next to this red coral on this rock, you're gonna find our next journal. So progressing on from the journal, now we're going to go, you know, the direction that we're supposed to go. So you just kind of climb out of the water and we're going to go along this crack and, you know, vertebra and just kind of climb all this coral all the way up. And we're going to have another one of those force field barriers that we need to interact with in order to get into the next room. And you're going to be kind of locked in here for a little bit for a cutscene. Um, you're going to see these tridents that we're going to be able to pick up and we're going to be able to use these in a few battles going forward. But you're going to be stuck in this room. You're going 
gonna see a kraken in the full glory this is pretty cool but you're gonna be in here kind of listening to some story elements again i won't ruin all that for you but eventually the barrier in front of you will be able to traverse and go through it and then you're gonna kind of be out in the open ocean down in the bottom of the ocean floor right outside of the spire and you're gonna be in a battle with your new merfolk enemy and now you can actually use those tridents as weapons you can actually hold and charge it up so you can charge it up to three times and you'll get like a large you know circle that you can shoot you can also charge it up to two and let go but it is finite you can't shoot forever and if you look straight down you'll see kind of four glimmering you know shinies down there those are, are some fresh tridents that you can get during this battle if you need to also down at the bottom is where you're going to find some oxygen from the coral that's releasing those bubbles so you may need to swim down there and grab that so once you kind of get to the end of that battle and you take out the last of the merfolk he's going to drop a siren heart as similar to prior parts of this tale so we're going to go ahead and grab that and for reference let's head back down to where um, those four tridents were at the bottom of the ocean that i just showed you kind of during the fight uh, you can drop the siren heart similar to the tridents it'll just stay floating exactly where you dropped it so you can kind of loot these barrels if you need a little bit more fruit or anything else that you need but once you're done with that now we need to figure out where to go and again we're going to head to the north but with jack's compass remember we can use that to always kind of point us in the right direction so similarly here right it's pointing kind of in the north so we're all the way at the bottom heading the direction that we need to go which is also indicated by the chains coming off of the black pearl and going all the way into the ocean wall here so if we swim around we're going to see a large door with five jewels on a face as well as two of those siren statues with uh, again images of the way that we need to position their arms again pay attention to the arms not necessarily the tridents so the siren on the right is going to be the one that is missing the gem so when you're going to put that in and then move the arm to the down position again if you look at the wall you can see that the arms in those pictures are in the down position so we'll move to the left side now and we'll move this one down as well and then the one that we need to hit that has the conch to open the door is in the top left so after you shoot that as long as you have both of the statues with their arms in the down position then the door will lower and we will be able to enter into the Siren Citadel for the second part of this tall tale. The first thing that we're gonna do once we go past that uh, door that we just opened that has the five gems on it, as soon as that opens, when you go in, you're gonna see two broken pieces of shipwreck. The left hand side broken piece of shipwreck will have our next journal in it in this crevice right above the coral. So after we've collected that journal, we're going to head into the next area. So you're going to have to go around to the left. The actual area right behind those shipwrecks uh, is kind of blocked by that force field that we can't go past. So we're going to go around left and we're going to interact with that little force field that you saw there. And it's going to take us into this large room um, that you can see that's filled up with water. You can actually go to the top and grab some air if you want to. But down into this kind of area that's filled up with water, if we look to the south side of this room you'll see a small hole in the southernmost portion of this room we can swim down in there and when we get down there you'll see a large just piece of shipwreck down here and right on top of that is going to be our next journal So from the journal, we'll head back up through the hole. And now what we need to do is again, position these statues in the right direction. So you can see the chain on the left with the arm up, the stone in the middle with the arm in the middle and the floor with the arm down. So again, just pay attention to those arms. That's how I think the best way to look at it. So we'll move the floor to the arm down, the chain, we're going to move all the way to the up position and then our mineral, which we need to find to the left here, we're gonna put in the middle position. And once you've hit all of those then what you have to do is find the one that has the conch and you'll realize that it's not down below where you are in fact you need to go up to the surface and look up and out to the southwest in order to see and shoot 
this particular statue. I like having the sniper rifle in this tall tale for this reason. Um, actually, a little bit later is even going to be one that's further away. So it's really helpful to, one, when you're shooting the statues that have the arms that are at a distance, you can see where they are, and obviously just hitting those things from a distance. You can use a pistol if you want to, but nonetheless, once you hit that, the water will lower, and you're going to be attacked by a few waves of ocean crawlers. There are some tridents in here that you should use. Um, they're very you know, efficient at taking out the ocean crawlers. So once you finish that, you will see a pulley kind of right in the middle of the room. Uh, so go ahead and grab that and push up until this door in front of you lowers. And that will lead us into the next room in this tall tale, which is a very beautiful room. It's very open, very vibrant, and colors are very dynamic. But just to the left, right when you enter this room, is going to be another pulley that you can interact with. Interact with that, and you're going to pull the, this uh, shipwreck all the way down. And if you pull it all the way down, and it is time, so you, once you pull it down, it's going to start going back up. So you need to run over there and hop on this piece of shipwreck. And that's going to allow us to hop over to the other ledge of this room. And if we take this all the way up, we're going to come to this you know, back end of a wrecked ship here. And inside of that is going to be our next book our next journal so if you jump up and actually fall into the hole here you're going to find your next journal right on this broken crate so from the crate now we're going to progress on the tall tail so now we're going to go back on top of the ship so again you have to come here uh, but we're going to head all the way across the other side and then we can jump on that ledge and if you go back to the end of this hallway we're going to see another mural with a chain in the down position the stone in the middle and the flora in the up position so if we look to our left now we can actually see those same statues that we were using earlier through this kind of hole in the wall. So look at those and then just use your sniper to get everything in the right position. So the mineral is already in the middle, so that's good. We need to move the chain. So we're gonna shoot that twice to get it into the low position. And then the flora, which we can see right here, or the coral, we need to get that to the up position. So we'll just shoot that once. And now we're gonna have to go back to the ship. So now we're going all the way back to the ship that we were just at so that we can see the statue we need to shoot with the conch. And if we're on top of the ship and you look out to the west, you can see it through that little hole. So this is the one, again, I, I like to have the sniper, it just makes everything a little bit easier on this level. But once you, uh, you know, get those statues in the correct order and shoot that then the water will rise and this room will be filled up and you'll be able to actually get to that ladder that's in the middle of the room that you couldn't reach previously so once we go ahead and let the water fill up and climb up this ladder you're going to see a pulley right in front of you interact with that pulley and what we're going to do before we progress to the right which is the tall tail we're going to get the t the key that we need in order to get the chest of everlasting sorrow and that's one of the commendations so once you go across this and Instead of going to the right, go to the left, and now you're going to be on this uh, piece of shipwreck up into this cave, and you're going to find a key sitting in all of this nice red flora, the silver blade key. So with that key, we're going to go back now. We're just going to go back to the ladder that we were just on. Now we're going to be taking the same path, but then this time we're going to go right to progress the tall tale, and we're going to keep this key with us so that we can unlock the door for the chest of everlasting sorrow. So once we've gone to the right, we're gonna head around and we're gonna to come to another barrier. The thing is up, so you're gonna to have to shoot it. So be sure you shoot it, but don't forget the key, okay? Do not forget the key. You don't wanna walk through here and be in here for a while and it accidentally closed and you've left the key behind and you can't get anymore. So be sure you grab the key because once you have the key and you head up to the flora on the left-hand side to get to the top of this ship, now we're gonna be able to enter the captain's quarters with this key to get the chest of everlasting sorrow and you'll go ahead and grab that commendation as well now we're still going to need this chest for a little bit later um, so we're going to hold on to it but we have quite a large battle that's going to take place first on this ship you're going to notice some cannons on the left and to the right of them is a crate that has a ton of cannonballs in it so don't worry you're not going to run out but you're going to be fighting all these ocean crawlers that are spawning across from you and shooting at you with their own cannonballs but they don't typically do that that much damage so it's no big deal but eventually once you take all of them out 
um, you can raise this capstan here. And you, by raising the capstan, you're eventually going to get to the second level of this fight. So I've obviously fast forwarded it through all of you know that. It's going to take you a little bit to just kind of get to the next level. But once you get to the second level, you're again you're going to have waves of uh, sea crawler enemies that you're going to have to take out. But eventually, just like below, you're going to take all of them out, and you'll be able to raise the anchor up again. And eventually, she's going to start talking to you as you're raising it, and you're going to be attacked by the kraken, and it's going to force you back down. So it's not. A problem that you come you know down here now you can shoot these tentacles but it doesn't do anything okay the actual way to progress past this portion is to kill all the ocean crawlers that board your ship the tentacles actually don't do anything I mean they harm you and they hit you but shooting them isn't going to progress this section at all once you've killed all of the ocean crawler borders the tentacles will let go and you will again be able to interact with the capstan and start raising your ship again now this time when you raise it eventually when you get to a point it's going to start pulling itself up on its own so you see i'm off the capstan you're going to be pulled up by the kraken for a kraken battle which is pretty cool you know you finally see the kraken's face um, you, you could have saw it i guess a little earlier in this tall tale and some sequences but now you're fully fledged on right in front of you so just sit here and just hammer him in the face with your cannonballs he'll bite you and the you know the tentacles will hit you but don't worry about it just keep blasting away at him in the face eventually he'll retreat and that's how you'll know that you can go back to the capstan and continue your ascent with the ship towards the top so you got to do a lot of pushing of this capstan but eventually you'll get to the top and you'll know because it won't be sinking anymore once you get up here and once you get up here be sure you grab your chest of sorrow and we're going to grab you know climb the ladder like we're going up to the crow's nest and we're going to follow this path along again keep the chest of sorrow make sure you grab it and we're going to enter this uh kind of underwater cave and as we're progressing through we're going to come to another barrier that we need to shoot or stab in order to open and as soon as you you know hit that be sure you grab your chest of sorrow you're going to go into the next cavern like area okay if you have the chest of sorrows with you then all of the statues around you are going to begin to cry until it gets to the one that's over this door if you don't have the chest of sorrows this won't happen so you need this chest of sorrows in order to get into this room which is required to interact with the five etchings that are part of the tale of eternal sorrow commendation so just keep that in mind and it doesn't matter you don't have to set the chest anywhere you can see i had it in my hands the whole time but once that door opens you'll see you'll be in this room there'll be a skeleton in the edge you're going to have three etchings on the right and you're going to have three or sorry two etchings on the left so three on the right two on the left if you want to read them in order then it starts on the left and goes clockwise uh, from the one that's closest to the door nonetheless once you interact with all five of those you'll have the tale of eternal sorrow accommodation and now we're on to the final battle of this particular tall tale so if you kind of continue on the way you were supposed to go open that barrier you're going to enter into this large cavern system and the siren queen is going to talk a bunch of smack and eventually you're going to get involved into a little quarrel with her and that will go well for you you're going to kind of have like a couple waves like you'll hit her a couple times and she'll run away and you'll have to fight some merfolk uh you know kind of interchanging a little bit during the battle but eventually you're going to take her down so she kind of obviously fills up this room with water for this fight and once you finally beat her the water will dissipate and now you can interact with this uh little you know shiny i don't even know i guess piece of coral that you can now interact with to dissipate that barrier that's in the middle of the room so right on the middle you can see it kind of flashing at you now so let's go ahead and sword or shoot that, whatever you want to do. Now we can go through that barrier. We'll be again in an underwater tunnel system. So kind of just swim down and you'll come to another barrier that you're going to have another piece of coral that you need to hit in order to open, which I struggled with here. <laughs> I couldn't hit it. Uh, but eventually when you hit it, that will allow you to pass through and you'll be into an open air system. And if you look to the left, you're going to see three mermaid statues, you know, one sapphire, one ruby and one emerald. And if you actually Actually shoot and destroy those you will find the crew of the black pearl 
and you'll have a discussion with them again i'm not going to ruin that story dialogue for you but eventually at the end of that you're going to have to give the compass to gives and when you give the compass to gives that will indeed be the end of the tall tale and that will wrap it up for everything that we needed to do to get all of the commendations in the sunken pearl now at the end of this particular one though you can still explore this underwater area a bit if you swim down you're going to have another barrier that you need to open but if you open that you can actually go out here and swim around and kind of explore this underwater area if you want to um, there's also a mermaid that you can take back to your ship so again that's going to wrap it up for all the commendations in the sunken pearl i hope you all found this helpful as always and you know we'll see you in the next tall tale and hopefully i'll see you on the seas